Okay, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to use the um, Phoenix Flight Simulator to show you how um, safe mode works. Because the Sport Cub S is a safe mode airplane, safe technology airplane. And the Phoenix Flight Simulator has several airplanes in it, but it does not have the Sport Cub S with the safe technology, but it does have this airplane, which is the um, uh, Apprentice uh, S-15E, and I'm using a DX4E radio with it, which has a three position switch, and so you get uh, experience, uh, intermediate, and beginner modes, and uh, you also get um, the uh, panic button. You can see the word panic down here, okay? So, um, I'm going to reset the aircraft, okay? And uh, so I'm going to demonstrate all three of the um, uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced modes and explain what uh, safe technology is all about. So here we go. So I'm taking off in beginner mode. Here we go. And so in beginner mode, you'll first notice as I start my turn here, that's as far as the uh, bank angle can go. Okay. I'll pull the power back now. And obviously in the lower left corner, you can see what I'm doing with the controls. So I'm going to try to set the controls about 50 to 60%. That should give me a nice safe level flying altitude, uh, altitude and speed. So you can see full stick all the way over. And a little bit of back pressure to keep the nose up and uh, I'll try to do another turn with the back pressure you can get to maybe 30 40 degrees of bank and uh, in beginner mode and that's about all you can do so um, in the beginner mode you're also limited to how much nose up you can get only maybe 20 degrees nose up before you um, it stops so safe mode the, the most important thing about safe mode is what happens when you let go of the uh, ailerons. Let go of the ailerons, it automatically levels the wings. And that's not true in intermediate and advanced mode. So um, let me turn around here and I'll switch to intermediate mode. So now in intermediate mode, you don't, oops, sorry. There you go, intermediate mode. Uh, you don't notice any change right away. But now when I start my turn, I can get a larger degree of bank, okay? And if I uh, put the, the ailerons back to neutral, ailerons are neutral, um, it's just going to keep turning. The ailerons are going to keep turning. In order to roll out, i got to move the aileron in the opposite direction, okay? So it's like you normally would fly, having to start a turn with the ailerons and roll out, uh, with opposite aileron and um, so intermediate mode is a is a good way to learn to fly but still uh, have some safety features uh, in terms of the limitation of bank angle uh, so you can't roll the airplane over and limitation of the nose up and nose down now the uh, in all modes you have what what's called panic mode so let me switch to uh, experience mode here. Okay, so there's experience mode. Now if I want to uh, do some crazy things in experience mode, I can roll it over. Okay, I can do the loop. Okay, uh, I'll do a real loop there instead of a kind of rolling loop. Okay, so there's a real loop. And I'll come back toward the runway. And also, you know, if you get yourself in trouble here, you have um, the panic mode. So I'll roll it over here and let the panic mode bring it right back out. Oh, guess what? <laughs> um, if you don't have enough uh, altitude underneath you, panic won't help. So let me try that again. I'll get a little higher. Okay. In fact, what I'll do is uh, get high enough here and uh, if you pull the nose up and roll it over, it'll roll right back out, okay? And notice that it, it uh, not only rolled out, but it, 
the nose was pulled up. It went to level flight, but the nose actually went up because they have 100% power in. So we'll roll it over and we'll see if we can recover. There we go. Roll over, recover. So panic, panic won't work every time. If you're too low to the ground like this, it, uh, well, I guess I, that was pretty good. Okay, there we go. Right into the ground. Okay, so panic is not going to help you all the time. Obviously, the experience mode lets you do anything you want, including crashing your airplane. And um, so let me go back to beginner mode. Okay. I'll come back down here. And panic. Nope. Oh, good. If you hold panic forever, the thing is just going to fly off. You can't turn back. Okay. So if I turn back, let go of the panic mode and turn back. Way out there. Okay, if you're not sure where you are, you could hold in the panic button. And guess what? What would happen if you hit the panic button? Near that tree. It's not going to let you, it's not going to save you from hitting the tree. So if you're down here flying like this and hit the tree, yep, panic mode uh, prevented me from turning into the tree. But it doesn't know the tree is there. So, um, now I'm back in beginner mode. Let me show you uh, a landing in beginner mode, okay? First off, your landing is going to have to be a wide turn, okay? And if you get lined up on the runway and hit the panic button and pull the power back, guess what? It will just sort of land by itself. Okay. Typically, that's not how you learn learn to land. So I'll land in intermediate mode. Okay. Now, in the intermediate mode, you probably have enough aileron authority to make a nice sharper turn to the runway. Okay. Let's get lined up on the runway. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now we're down on the ground. So, panic will help you some. Panic doesn't do very much in beginner mode because the airplane writes itself as soon as you let go of the sticks. But in intermediate advanced mode, panic helps a lot if you get yourself in trouble. Um, so, starting out on beginner mode is a great idea, but get to intermediate mode as soon as you feel comfortable so that you learn how to operate the ailerons uh, effectively. So that's the demonstration of safe mode. So thank you for watching.